Welcome back to P1. Today should hopefully be a short video. We're just going to look at graphs of sine, cosine and tangent. Or sine, cos and tan. Now it's really important that you understand the shapes of these graphs, how to draw them and the key points. So they are maximum points, the minimum points and where it crosses the x-axis the horizontal axis okay or the axis for theta so let's get started okay so first we're going to look at the sine graph and specifically y equals sine theta and drawing this graph is quite straightforward it's going to start at zero zero and look roughly like that okay it's going to cross here at 180 and again back at 360 and then the values in between are 270 and 90 at 90 degrees it will cross at 1 at this 270 it will cross at negative 1 and that is the sine graph between 0 and 360. Now, after that, it just repeats in every direction. So, and carry on going in this negative direction here. And I can carry on going in this positive direction. And zooming out gives me this, as you can see. And it just keeps on going. Now the cos graph or the cosine graph is the same as the sine graph. It's just been shifted or translated by 90 degrees. And it starts at 1. And very much in the same shape. Just my terrible sketch in there. It creates the same kind of graph between 0 and 360. So these are at 90, you can see they're 180 and 270. But if I keep it going, I get the same pattern as I get in my sine graph. So keeping it going, it's the same pattern. Okay, if you look at it from here, there's my sine graph there. Okay, so drawing the cosine graph, you just need to think, right, start at 1 on the y-axis and then I carry on drawing as if I'm drawing the sine graph. Okay, it's just that shift, that translation by 90 degrees. Okay, so you've taken your sine graph, which if I draw over this would look something like this and so on. And then it's shift by 90 degrees. Yeah, so we've taken this graph and we moved it 90 degrees to my left. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And of course, like the sine graph, it does continue on in both directions forever. Now, tan graph is a little bit different. Tan graph is repeated, okay, but it doesn't have a minimum or maximum, and it does have asymptotes. The easiest way I find to draw the tan graph is to start by going through zero, like I'm gonna show you now. So something like this, very much similar to just drawing a x cubed graph. And these are heading towards asymptotes, so here and here. So there's your zero, and we're going 90 degrees each way. So between 90 and minus 90. And even if you need to draw this from, say, 0 to 360, I always start like this at the zero at the origin, draw on either side, and then I can rub out what I don't need. And of course this then just repeats itself 
every additional 180 degrees. So you're just repeating yourself every 180 degrees. So now we can see that this is going to cross at 180 and the next asymptote is at 270. And we keep this pattern going in both directions. But I think the key for drawing this is remembering this start through the zero, through the origin, and you'll have no problems drawing these. Now, I'm not going to give you any questions today. I'm going to save that for the next video when we're looking at transforming trigonometric graphs. What you should do, though, is just practice drawing your sine, cosine and tangent graphs. Try drawing them between 0 and 360 and drawing them between minus 180 and plus 180 as these angles, and I'll pop them up here just as a reminder, but these angles are the most common ones asked when they ask you to draw a straight sine, cos or tan graph. Okay, I'll see you in the next video which will come shortly and it's transforming trigonometric graphs. See you soon.